Guys, what's going on? This is Face Cross, and uh, this is gonna be a little Minecraft tutorial for you on how to find diamonds, so you can make these little nice nifty diamond pickaxes, whatever you want. Um, pretty much, I have a little house over here, and then next to it, I made a little diamond mine. It's not strictly a diamond mine, but what you're going to do is you're gonna pretty much haul out however much you want. Um, and I, what I do, I go two across, and then I go dig down on the third one. I dig two down. Then I go down on the second one again, and I continue this pattern all the way down. Um, what you want to do is take some cobblestone and get some, uh, and basically get slabs. Basically, go break it down. If you have a crafting table, you can do that. And then that way, when you come back up here, you don't actually have to jump over all these. Oh, you're going to right here because I'm an idiot, and I just broke it. But yeah. It'll pretty much allow you to walk up without blocking yourself, and it's very convenient for walking back up to the house. You don't have to jump up each and every single one. Um, that way you can go to the top quickly. So, pretty much, you need to go. You see, I, I changed my pattern. I went one, two, three, and then f down on the fourth one. Um, it just makes it a little easier. You won't run into lava, and if you do, um, you'll be standing up here when you dig down, that way it won't pour in and won't kill you. Keep that in mind, because everyone who searches for diamonds somehow usually dies, they get killed by lava. Take a bucket with you, just in case, safety, um, with water, that way if you do catch yourself on fire, you can put it out and you don't lose all your items. Um, when you go mining, don't take more than what you have with you. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Like, if you take all your stuff with you, like all your diamond pickaxes and all this stuff, and you're really far into the game, and, well, not very far in the game, sorry, opposite of that, and then you get killed, and you're gonna lose all your diamonds, and you're just pretty much game over. So, you keep going until you hit this, right here. Now, you wanna search around and see if there's any lower layer than, um, this would right here, this level that I'm hitting would be layer zero. Um, this making this layer level one, right here. Two, three, and so on. But what you want to do on PC, there are uh, five levels of bedrock. On Xbox, I can only find two. It doesn't go down any further than this. It's probably not as updated as the one on PC, go figure. Um, we'll probably get it updated eventually, but you're gonna count from here. And this is zero, so one, two, three, and you're gonna keep going all the way up until layer 10, if I remember correctly. Layer layer 10 is where lava spawns. Lava spawns from uh, layer one through 10. It just, it's all over the place. Um, so, as you can see here, um, I lied. This is layer 10, but I had a problem. I counted wrong. And there, there used to be lava right here. Yeah, there's some right there. But, that way you're on top of it. So you can go down, I think like level eight or something like that. But what I did, I made this secondary mine over here. And this is how your mines usually look. Right off the end of your stairwell, you can hollow out this area, and then you have these shafts. So what you do is you just kind of dig through these, and eventually you'll find diamond. Um, it might take some time. Uh, take torches with you, stick them on the wall every so often. And I'm going to dig here until I find diamond, and then I'm going to chime back in and show you guys a few things. I'll probably speed this part up real quick, so hang in there with me. Okay, so uh, here's some diamond right here, and if you guys noticed, I found some lava just a minute ago, and I didn't fall in. Um, I'm pretty high above it, I'm two blocks above it. Um, that way it doesn't pour into me or anything, like I'm not digging below it, and I hit it, and it just pours down. So when you find diamond, you want to dig around it. You want to open up a certain area and try not to fall in the lava while you're at it. Cross, holy crap. Um, usually, it's... In groups of four or two it just depends on what you're doing um, yeah see there's four blocks right there four or five. Oh man I found a gold mine of diamond right here let's see that's six blocks Here we go for seven eight eight blocks let's see if there's any more over here so we got this so far and that's eight blocks of diamond one two three four yeah 
So what we're gonna do, cover that. And we're gonna dig up a little bit because I wanna make sure there's none on top of it. This is pretty good haul of diamond right here. Um, that was the first time that we tried this part over here on the side. Um, diamond spawns from layers 11, not 11 to 16, but it spawns in between like, I think one to 16 or something like that. And you don't really find it below layer 10. You can, but not as much. If you find it above to, to level 16, you find it more commonly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this a little bit. Um, it should help you find diamonds. Uh, if you have trouble, just continue to mine like this. Go ahead and put your torches um, on the wall. You can put them on the floor if you want. See, I didn't even go very far. I just went about that far in from where we started. And there were eight blocks of diamond there. Um, what do you know? Um, also, another thing to add to your mine, if you guys haven't done it already, add some chests. That way you can store stuff like diamonds. Um, you can store whatever you need, coal to make torches, wood. Um, also, having signs is very helpful as well. If you guys get lost on some paths, you can just make a sign. Um, I have one chest for tools and one for gems and stuff like that. And everything else, you can melt stuff down. Um, lava, I got really lucky right here. If you have a bucket, pretty much just take the bucket. Let's see. I like how I made this a diamond tutorial, and uh, I keep going on. But take your bucket, and then... Let's go over here. We'll take we'll take wood. I'll show you guys this. Oh, I, no, wood doesn't really work. Hmm. If I had sand or something like that, I could do it. Actually, cobblestone will work. You can just throw it in there and you get this smooth stone over here. Um, basically, take your lava bucket and throw it in here. Um, you see how I put my lava bucket away and I wasn't holding it? Do that, just in case you hurt yourself. Um, I wanna take all this iron out. What I wanna do is take the cobblestone and stick it on top. Your fuel being lava, it takes ages to empty out. It lasts forever. Um, the lava's gone, but that fire doesn't go out very often. It's probably one of the best fuels. And if you get lucky enough, you can find a lava pool and build your furnace room around that and then you have con continuous flows of lava just throughout your mining and it makes it a lot easier so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys want to know some more things let me know um this is cross guys and i'll see you again with another minecraft video